Schönen guten Tag, meine Damen und Herren. Herzlich willkommen zu einem weiteren Video der Firma JP Performance GmbH. Wir sind immer noch bei Königseck. Und dieser Herr dort drüben wird sich Zeit für uns nehmen. Please welcome CEO and Founder of Christian Königseck. technischen Details von diesem Auto angucken. Wir haben schon ein Video gesehen, vielleicht auch noch nicht, vielleicht auch das erste. Nein, es ist nicht das erste. Es ist das zweite, glaube ich. Genau. Ähm, und äh, die Zeit ist eigentlich nicht da und er nimmt sich jetzt für uns die Zeit, weil wir, glaube ich, demonstriert haben, dass wir technisch, glaube ich, doch sehr interessiert sind <lacht> und gehen jetzt mal in die Factory rein. Und uh, your German is pretty good, right? No. Ich spreche mal ein bisschen Deutsch, aber ich really? praktiziere nicht äh, genug, so das mal äh, ja, ein bisschen Problem. Aber ich verstehe ungefähr 60 Prozent. Oh, really? So. But we, we, should, we should go on English. Yes. I, I will have a hard time okay, with all then. the details. But if I would stay in Germany for a few weeks, it, I would be a little bit better. No, but what I think is very impressive is that you are your face and you are a big part of the brand. Because well, normally you don't see the owners so much, right, right. but your face is so known. Okay, yeah. <laughs> no, it is, that, that you really know who it is, but this is also... Yeah, I will explain bad. what this is. So we're setting up the... This is our new factory, the Jamira factory, where we're doing the four-seater car. I know. So we just uh, entered into this building where we have the showroom and the event center and so on a couple of weeks ago. And we're actually opening up this as an inauguration in the beginning of July. And then mm -hmm. we're starting to do pre-series production here at the end of the year. And how many will be built from the four-seater? So uh, we're doing 300 of those. And then? And then cuts. that's it for that model. And then we will do something else after that, of course. We can't have an empty factory, so. What do you uh, think about the future concerning regulation, concerning combustion engine, and concerning getting Koenigsegg to a e-mobility producer? I think what I will do instead is show you what we do. Mm -hmm. And then we can ask, talk about that question because it will kind of be answered in the process. Okay, great, great. But uh, it's an interesting topic that we are, of course, addressing. So, you, I, I guess someday you have to. Yeah, no, yeah, absolutely. So, so yeah, here is like a lunch and restaurant for all for all the employees. For all the employees, but it continues up here. So, how many people work here? Uh, over 600 persons. 600 people. A little bit over. Yeah. The show must go on. Yeah, that's a slogan from the old military. We're in old military hangars. Yes. So the, the pilots had the show must go on slogan. Yeah. Here we do uh, upholstery work down. Well, here's the final assembly line of the ESCO. Down there so, is upholstery work and up here. So we do all the interiors in house. It's so great that you see the car here and the upholstery. Right. Exactly. I mean, that's two and a half meters, three meters. Yeah. To the, to the right. We can go and have a look here. So. Uh, I also see that many employees have something on their ears to be quiet, right? To concentrate. Right. Right. There's a lot of activity. I mean, now people are on lunch. That's a bit more quiet, but. But there's a lot of activity everywhere, so... So it can happen that they make the pulse through here and they start an engine over here? Uh, yeah, actually we don't... We used to start engines here, but now we have the, what, that room you saw first is the test driving room. So we kind of, when we get off the line, we roll in there and that's a little bit closed off. And you try to be here every day? Definitely. And yeah. how deep are you involved in every process still? Yes. <laughs> Better ask the question, which process are you not involved? <laughs> exactly. So, uh, I know almost everything about everything. Very so, good. I'm, 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 yeah, involved in most things. Hello. Hello. So here we are, this is a test gearbox. Mm -hmm. We're taking it apart. So but this is the gearbox without the clutch? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, yeah, on the flywheel. There is no flywheel. So let's see if we have some parts. So the, 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 the crank comes out. Yeah, I don't, do we have any? Gearbox parts here we can show, or? Yeah. Uh, I will show it in the prototype one, because there are usually more parts here, and I can't really see them right now, so. Uh, I will show it over here, so. How many, um... Here we can see a finished gearbox. So this is for, this is designed for 1500 newton meters of torque. It's got nine speeds, and it's uh, seven wet clutches. Six for forward propulsion, one for reverse, uh, and... Uh, so the clutch works like a claw? No, 
-hmm. I'll show you. Uh, is it wet? Wet clutches. Seven. Oh, seven wet clutches. What? Of this diameter. What's the weight on this? This is 92 kilos, and it's got an. Uh, get out of here, man. It's, it's got an <laughs> e-diff. It's nine gears. We get we get nine. Why gears. is nobody else able to do this? Uh, no idea. We got 20 <laughs> patents on it, and uh, this is. One the second. Way one second. Also, Leute. Der Kollege hier will mir gerade sagen, er hat ein Getriebe mit sieben Kupplungen. How many gears? Nine. Four with one reverse, so ten. Zehn Gänge, also neun vorwärts, ein Rückwärtsgang. Also die Getriebe wiegt 92 Kilo. <laughs> For 1500 Newton meters of torque. Capable. With, with, uh, you designed this in-house, right? Yes, yes. With uh, E-Diff and integrated starter. But the E-Diff is also designed by? Us. Yes. Really? Yeah. yeah, I can show it to you here. Leute, das ist ja schon absurd, aber ich gehe gleich durch. Wie viele Firmenbesichtigungen hast du nochmal gemacht? Ja. So here, here is the... I gotta, I gotta interrupt you. Yeah. I've been really, really to nearly all kind of factories in my life. Right. This, this is one of the last big ones where the people really asked for many years for. And you got me already pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll show it to you here. So you, you have a pressure plate here. This is the diff here. Yes. And, then, and here you have the... Uh, the lid for the differential and then you have a feed for uh, let's see where yeah, i'll the take oil. it up yeah uh hang on uh, yeah there is an oil feed uh I saw a line yeah exactly it's coming in there and then it's pressing on here with a piston so that's like edifs works too i know i know locked up the discs and it can, it can lock up 200 it can lock 90, up to 100 100 100 yeah mm -hmm. If you want, so check, really. So I saw, I saw you any, anyway managing a lot of pressure in the car anyway, using doors and opening this yes, and, yeah, that and yeah, that. Yeah. So I guess you having one central. That's pump. it. That's it. We we, we we use that for. I mean, let's say the the, the bodywork system is just a, a benefit of having high pressure on board. So we instead of having gas struts, we just have mm. tiny hydraulic actuators. They weigh so you, the same. you use it like an like an energy exactly. in the car, and you you say, well, I if I line it here, I have a certain energy, and only have to design something that can use my certain pressure energy exactly. to move. Yeah. So so we get. How we, do you make yeah. it to go both ways? It's a dual actuated uh, uh, actuator, so pressure on so, two sides. Well, it's it's a piston in the middle with two lines going as so you push the piston that direction you push the piston yeah, that direction yeah, yeah. so but the weight the weight of operating the doors and the hoods is about five six kilos for everything so it's a very small weight penalty to have a very uh, cool feature you don't need to touch the bodywork and the paint if my car needs an inspection it has to go here no 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 it goes no. so it in, goes in Germany, Germany. <laughs> and you are away how many kilometers from me right that's yeah it's pretty close yeah very close my McLaren has to go far more, way more far than that. It makes, I guess, more problems than this car. <laughs> I don't say anything. <laughs> let, let, let's go and have a look at, uh, at the inside of the gearbox. So, over here. so yeah, uh, that's that's the flywheel. That's the size of the flywheel. <coughs> that just goes straight into the crank. And the, the 92 kilos is including starter motor. And One second, I have a guess. You can use it without a flywheel because you... No, you have no electric motor on this car, right? No. At all. But how can you make this this, this 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 idling so stable? Software. Okay, you keep it up. Mm -hmm. So uh, on the attack, we have uh, the triplex damper. We have our activation of bump and rebound on all three dampers, and activate the lifting system on all three dampers, so we can compensate for downforce, change the rake of the car. Each corner we can control individually. We have position. But this is, not, this is this is made by by us. The so you can see the shock absorber parts come from Elins, but the controllers and the lifters are our own, and the valving inside is our own as well. Why? Because we could not find what we wanted anywhere else. So like and and actually, actually, there is a processor here, and there is a processor there, and the same on the other shock absorbers. So we over the air update and log each of these processors, and also this one. So you know if the customer is a hard driver or not? We, we see all the movements of the chassis and everything. <laughs> this is a kind of a central control unit for the hydraulics. I mean, this is also a pretty impressive piece to yeah. have it that well with volume. I mean, you make the carbon. Yeah, I'll show you. We'll make it here. Wie viele Kinexack willst du kaufen? Also, ich komme gerade überhaupt. Hä? They're on lunch, but here we have five, six people polishing carbon fiber parts and aluminium parts. But you make the, you have autoclave here? Yes, yes, I will show you. And how many people produce all these cars? Yeah, so we, we also have a, a, a subsidiary that we own 100% in, uh, in Barcelona with 50 people working with 
composite with three auto clocks. So we, all, we, we do all the development here and, uh, and the tools and so on together with them. So it's kind of our extended arm. Here's ah, so the carbon these are the moldings for the forging, right? Uh, these are for, for wheels. So we invented this uh, hollow carbon fiber wheel. These are prototype wheels, but we have hollow carbon fiber structures in our wheels. Okay, let me put another question down. Yes. What did you not design? Uh, the ABS unit, the Bosch. crash sensors. Bosch. Uh, yeah, that's Conti. Uh, airbags. But it, some airbags are custom made for us, but we did not design. Well, because we shaped of size it. Reasons. Yeah, yes, exactly. The horn, the boop boop, that thing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the windshield viper. Uh, it's Mercedes, right? Yes, until now. Because it worked really good and for high speed, yeah. and, it, and it reaches out. I so, know, I know. So we were happy with it, but now we're actually designing that ourselves as well for the next one. But it was not, you cannot stand it, right? I mean, having a. I like it. I like that one. It works really well. Okay. <laughs> I don't think it looks nice even. Yeah. <laughs> so this, this is, uh, this is, yeah, you can see, this is the Regera style. This was the, that style of wheel. So it's completely you, hollow inside. Yeah, you, you're taking the air through it. Well, we have a patented uh, technology called air core. So we can lay up on a positive and then we get, uh, we get that out in the process. But the good thing about laying up on a positive tool is that you don't need to consider the split lines. You have split lines in the, in the, in the negative tool. And, and if you lay up to those, you are limited in how you can lay up your carbon fiber. If you lay up on a positive, which is the air core, then you can have the Got splits it. wherever you want, and then you put it in the tool. Got it. So Got you get it. it much lighter and stronger, and you get it and easier to produce. And easier to produce, exactly. And you get this very nice, smooth finish on the inside. Inside. And this was the. This is the only wheel uh, in in a production car which has no metal inserts anywhere. It's always, yeah, you need always this little. Yeah, there's nothing here. Mm -hmm. We just clamp straight into the carbon hollowness. There's no metal at all. No metal at all. Oh, the the valve, that thing. You can feel <laughs> the weight of that wheel. Really. That's a 19 inch. It's a steering wheel, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can see if you look inside there, you can see the hollowness. And there's no metal inside. No metal. Anywhere. But for why, for, why, for why, 13 years. But why do other brands do it like that? They said this was impossible. And you said no. We, I, I said I think it will work, and we tried, and we did a lot of testing, and it worked. And there are some secrets to the source why it works, mm -hmm. but you have to do it right. You have to, yeah, you have to make sure the fibers are in tension and not in compression, and that's a difficult thing to do. With let me, let me. I have a guess why it works. I think you clear coat it and take the clear coat down. No, we don't clear coat. This and is just naked carbon fiber because there's no no coating here at all. But why is the carbon fiber so close to the surface? Because no clear coat at all. Be, no, no clear coat at all. Not at all. Nothing. We call it naked Kens, Kensig naked carbon fiber. You see, there, you see the fiber. If you look, if you look closely here, your product and how thin it is too. Right. Because I saw carbon fiber wheels that ha they have to do it thick. Right. You have to use the right fibers in the right directions uh, to get the right strength uh, with the right uh, so, epoxy as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm always doing very strange questions. So you would say maybe other car brands are not so smart. I mean, you, uh, you can be open. I'm, I'm not. I'm not saying that. It's. Uh, I'm. I'm saying we, we, we use first principles process of thinking what is possible with the material and how does it work and what can we do with it. And that was I think, a very I think, smart answer, but my question was a different. I think one. most most and uh, most car companies use their experience and take a small step and then they, and then it's not first principle then you yes you're sure what you did before it kind of worked so you take a small step from there and a small step from there. we looked at it we had no previous experience we asked okay how so can we how can we do it according to the rules of physics so then it becomes maybe a little bit different than uh, than history and tradition let's continue I'll show you the rest <laughs> Also, ey, ich bin zwar nicht so krass technik, technik affin, ne? ja. aber ich bin sehr froh, irgendwie dabei zu sein, weil es ja. selbst für mich sehr beeindruckend ja. ist. Also bis jetzt ist es auf jeden Fall... Um Hier ist ein Beispiel, ein Beispiel, das ist ein Beispiel. Ja, das ist ein Beispiel, wenn es boxed wäre, das ist der positive Core, den wir auf den Boden legen, und dann legen wir es in den Tool, und dann legen wir es auf. Und wir haben die korrekte Form. Ja. Dann haben wir die Autoclubs. Ja, guck mal da. So how often or how bored are you making these tours? Yeah, I'm not bored. This is a kind of fun thing. This is a not finished wheel yet for Yesco. So it needs to be routed off this uh, just sharp stuff. Mm -hmm. Made in one piece. One piece. A surface everywhere. 24 karat gold inlay. 
for right. heat reflection brake disc because uh, our testing has shown that if you drive on a racetrack color change uh, no 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 that's not even the problem uh, it's if you drive on a racetrack and you drive hot hot laps and then you go then you go off maybe into the pits with no cool down lap or let's say you slide off into a sand pit or something then you have a glowing hot disc of 900 degrees or something close. with no air very close and if you do a cool down lap you have no problem it's just that super hot stopping grilling so this is like an anti-reflectant for that it's 24 karat leaf gold baked into the carbon so how much is a one wheel in weight no in costs and money uh, well cost is one thing and then of course price is another uh, <laughs> So we have a lot of development going into it, so yes, it's yes. difficult to know, but this is a kind of fun thing here. This thing here, now they haven't drilled the hole. The, right here you have the uh, so they just TPMS. Take a and just drill the wheel? Yes. They just drill well, the carbon well, fiber wheel? Sorry, we have a CNC machine, but, sorry, but, of but, course uh, you do. <laughs> but there is this uh, uh, TPMS sensor that has some weight, so on this side we Ooh, add yeah, a little yeah. bit of carbon into the wheel to compensate so we have less uh, tire weights. Or, or wheel weights. But uh, I'll show you the CNC machine as well. What's your figure? It's a bit sharp. So. And good. What's, what's the weight on the wheel? Around a kilos? Uh, so the lightest wheel we made was for the first Jesco 19 inch. It was uh, like just under six kilos. Uh, the uh, the rear wheel for the, the, what you lift is there. 7.3, 7.4. Uh, yeah, it's like 7.6, it's a 22 inch. So it's a pretty big one. So, yeah, here you can see them a bit more finished. So here it's polished. No, no coating. It's a huge process to make with these amount of people all these products in Sweden, in-house, to make this car work. It makes it way more acceptable for a customer. And, when I, and I guess people who see this video, that you understand way more why you are buying this car. And secondly, why it takes so long. Right, exactly. It takes about three and a half thousand hours to build one car. So many cars. So this is our prototype department. One second, one second. You, you, you do this so often. Yeah. <laughs> When you in the plane, you're flying here, you're thinking of maybe I see five. Right. <laughs> also, Leute, bis jetzt habe ich im Bauprozess gesehen, I would say in the making, there are around 15, 20. And if you go to 10 minutes away, you will see another eight of them. Aber hast du gehört, was er gesagt hat gerade? Das ist der Prototyp-Shop hier. Yeah, this is prototype shop. Yeah, where we run prototype cars. So are you planning to achieve maybe some lap things? Absolutely, going? definitely. Who will drive? Uh, we have three, four very good test drivers, so they can choose. We will, we will uh, play around with them, so they're all very good. Some have raced Le Mans, the one Le Mans. Yeah. So this is... Uh, That's the light speed transmission, yeah. Uh, we can see the, the four seat in there as well. Oh, there you have the CC850. <laughs> that's the, uh, the car we introduced uh, soon a year ago. We're still rebuilding in here, so it's not good. Yeah. So here we have manual as well with that transmission. Can you explain in, in a short way, so I'm able, I'm sitting in the car. Yes. I can use first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth gear. There are six, six forward gears, yes. Six forward gears. Out of and nine I, available. And there are three pedals. There are three pedals. There are three pedals. So I drive it as a normal manual car. You can stall it, you can jump it, you can drive smoothly. I can drift, I can do everything I want. You can do whatever you want. Okay, so, and then I'm able to do what? And then you can put it over here. You can put it over there. And then it's in automatic mode. Mm -hmm. And then you go over here, and then you're in manual mode. And there are nine gears. And how much time is in between that? Nothing, you just do that. You're in auto. No time. Oh, well, the time to move your hand. Mm -hmm. um, so there are nine gears, but you only have six slots. 
So uh, for automatic, I have nine, and yeah. manual, I have six. But depending on which mode you're in, there are different different gear ratios per slot. Ah. If you're on the track, so you change. So it's it's a digital movement. Yes. It's not a manual movement. Well, it's hydraulic. Can I? Can I? Can I? Yeah, can yeah. I? It's hydraulic digital. So you can you can make the six gear a ninth gear or a six gear a six gear. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Well, uh, the manual is always your six, but you choose. Yeah, no, I know. But the ratio could be from the nine. Yeah, but it could be also from the six. Exactly, exactly. Depending Off. on depending which mode you're in. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> du müsstest sehen. Uh, it's electric. Sorry, you have to push the screen there. Uh, left uh, uh, corner. Uh, sorry, in the middle of the screen below. Uh, down. Yeah, that one. And then you should be able to slide your seat back there. So, come on, bitte here. Kriegst du das hier gefilmt? Mach mal die Kamera, mach mal die Stände ab. Ja, yeah, warte. To see, to see underneath it. It's like jewelry. Komm mal her, komm mal her, komm mal her. Das musst du bitte scharf kriegen hier rein, mit ISO. So, jetzt pass mal auf, guck mal her. Krass. And there is all. And the reverse. And here are the gear ratios. Yes. And this is still, you can still buy these? They're sold out. They were yes, sold out of course. Two, two hours when we show them. And how much, how much is this car? Uh, this one is in the Utah in German. Uh, yeah, it's 35 million Swedish kronos, which equals to 3.3. Uh, three three. Yeah. So it's more expensive than the Esco? Yes. And how much power is this? Uh, this is around 1300 horsepower. Manual. Manual. <laughs> <laughs> Rear wheel drive. Yeah, yes. right. <laughs> no hybrid. How can the auto turn it off? I, uh, you just press. If you don't press the brake, you just press that that button. And when I when when you, when the customer orders the car, he can decide everything. Uh, no, on this one, this is a homage to our first ever car, the CC8S from 2002. So we only deliver them in the colors. We had those seven or eight cars. And uh, that's oh, it. There are only eight cars made of this? Uh, the original one. Oh, okay. The first Koenigsegg ever, the CC8S. So the CC850 is a celebration of that, and that I turned 50 last year. So we, we were only making 50, but then when we showed it, people went crazy, and we had like 200 people wanting to buy it in two hours. So we said, okay, we add 20 years for 20 years of production to the 50 years of my birthday. So it became 70. <laughs> mm -hmm. I we said it. we said that the. The, the same day we introduced it, so then we could make some more people happy. And this flips up? It's, yeah, we, we, we were the world's first, uh, on, on, the, on the one to one, we had the world's first uh, active top mounted wing, and then on the Regera, we, the, we had the world's first active top mounted fully foldable wing. I'm hungry. Hey, up, Can I see it? Uh, I think so. Well, gerade kann ich mir gar nicht, ich glaube, dass das hier unten ist. I, I don't have that feature in this to open it, but we can no, see no, it on no, a Regera. We can see it on a Regera. Fine. Thank you. Uh, I can open the rear hood, you can see what it looks like underneath. Also, also, jetzt aber gerade ohne Spaß, ne? Solche Sachen, also, also, wir reden gleich nochmal in Ruhe. Ich. <laughs> you can see the mechanism here, it's very compact. Well, it is very compact, yeah. Because you have your power source. Yeah. Just going to it, exactly. so you don't need. And the pivot point is at the center of the wing, so whether you're flipping it up or whatever you're doing, there's not a lot of force needed because you're getting the help of the aerodynamics to flip. Anyway, do go. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it is slower when you're driving slower. Uh, not really, but it's no more force if you're having pressure on it or not for turning. Yeah, yeah. But uh, let's continue. Uh, we have some more. Yeah, why not?